The jubilatory mood took off from the courtroom. And in the Senate President's home state of Kwara, supporters and members of the All Progressive Congress APC dance and celebrate what they say was a political trial. And for the governor, Abdul Fattah Ahmed, he believes the CCT trial was a distraction to the Senate President from performing his duties. Obviously, we know from the way the case went through, it was a distraction. But uh, we're happy that justice has been allowed to take its course after all. In neighboring state of Ikiti, the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum and Governor of Ikiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi, who has always been critical of the federal government, says the trial was simply a vendetta. Well, if you recall that uh, my prediction for 2016, even before Bukola Saraki was charged, I said Bukola Saraki would be tried and it will end up in nothing to be to to be like an exercise in futility because this government is known for vendetta they have nothing to offer if you see the trend they lose all the cases at the end of the day they come back and blame judiciary because what you start with vendetta will end up in the midst of nowhere each time the senate president appeared at the tribunal his deputy, Ike Kwerimado, stands in to preside. Senator Kwerimado's views on the trial is similar to that of the governor of Ikiti State. He said, and I quote, This is another sweet victory for the 8th Senate in particular. Suppression of powers, the rule of law, and the nation's democracy. Senator Saraki's case at the Code of Conduct Tribunal is not the first high-profile case to be thrown out, but the Senate president has said the outcome of the case has renewed his faith in Nigerian courts. Shinwaki Maloye, Channels Television News.